<laughs> Hello everybody, this is Val with This Is How You Do It. I am going to make a veggie burger. Now I have some pinto beans right out of the can. I didn't cook them or make, try to make them fresh, but this is the way I'm doing it. I just had a taste for this myself. Put some beans in there. Okay, lift the juice. Now, for mine, I have some veggies here. I have carrots, which I have chopped fine carrots right here. Piece of carrots. Put some carrots in there. This right here is some my uh, french fry carrots that I'm going to have. Just like sweet potato carrots, when you cook them, they're sweet. So I'm going to make some carrots for my french fries. And then I got some bell pepper that I chopped up and put in there. And then I have some celery that I'm going to throw off in now. And I'm going to throw some onions in there. I love onions. Throw them in there for flavor. Now I am going to put some seasoning in it. And all I'm going to keep is the um, string for carrots for my french fries on in this plate. Maybe I should turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. And I do have some flour. I don't have any eggs, so I'm going to use flour to bind it together. Close it. It's going to kind of slow. So we'll go to the next one. check it that's a little soup that they try to make a hamburger with so I'm gonna throw a little of this flour in it to try to thicken it up some I don't want it watering you can't bind a hamburger together when it's watering Still a little bit too lax to me. Taste it. We need something. Oh. I didn't put a fresh garlic in it. Because I, I have some garlic. And then it didn't start to put sprouts on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that garlic in the ground. So I can, um, even though I have onions in it, so I can, um, grow me some garlic. I got an onion that's got a sprout on it too. I'm going to put that in the ground. I guess I need to show you what's going on in this here. Put it in a bowl.
some people will use probably breadcrumbs, which I probably could just get some fresh bread and, and, and tail up in there. I think that's what I'll do. Taking my time for those that have not seen a, a veggie burger made before. And this is the bread I'm going to use for us making my sandwich with. I'm going to toast it. Because sometimes when you make a veggie burger, it don't hold up too good. Once you fry it. If you use light bread. Light bread. Like this bread I'm using right here. This bread won't hold up under the pressure. So I'm going to mash this up. Take this tearing it up. Because that blender makes it extra soupy. So you got to put something that will help bind your, bind your burger together. And I'm sure everybody got some light bread. Or if, if you ain't got none, because some people don't like bread. Which I don't really, I'm not a big fan of bread either myself. I remember one time. When my, I went to my, I'm stirring it up, y'all. When I went to my grandmother's house, we used to walk as a family. Some of my brothers and sisters, I think about how many of us walked up there. Three or four of us together. Now five with my youngest brother. My youngest brother didn't go. I think he was too young. But um, to eat, and my, one time I saw my brother up under the bed at my grandmother's house. They were looking for him. And he was under the bed eating a loaf of bread. You know, cause we, were, we went, went there to eat because while my, our parents were working and the children were practically fending for themselves. It was uh, nine of us. My oldest wasn't there. So we would, it was like, I guess you can call them stair, stair step children. I don't know. But I was uh, four years older than my youngest, my youngest brother, three to four years. And I think my sisters, some of them, was a year apart, nine months apart. I don't know. But it was it was ten of us in all. And then if I knew back then that I can take a can of beans and make a hamburger. <laughs> Kids love hamburger, honey. I would have whooped that stuff together because I called myself. We had some flour in the house one time. And um, I was calling myself for making sugar cookies because I seen it done by my older sister. And then I made them, made flour and sugar and, and butter, made them sugar cookies because that's what was in the house. And my brother, youngest brother used to love to eat them cookies. And one time I was making some, I tried myself trying to cook. It wasn't the sugar cookies. I was trying to cook something else. I was too young to really be messing with the stove. And my brother touched the handle of that stove, uh, of the skillet that was on the stove, and all the grease fell on him. Fell all in his chest and everything. I felt so bad. I didn't get a whooping back then. I think everybody knew how bad I was feeling. It grieved me so much. My brother had scars in his chest, and my mama ended up getting cocoa butter to uh. So he wouldn't have a lasting scar. And so he wouldn't have a lasting scar. I would uh, put cocoa butter on him. To try to help heal that up. Let me get my skillet. Now, I'm going to use this skillet. This is not a cast iron skillet. It's just a no, no, skid, no stick skillet. And I'm going to turn the griddle on for my bread so that I can toast my bread. And I'm going to patty this together. I'm going to probably need to put some flour on my hands to patty that together. Okay, I'm going to get some grease, get some oil. You can use you can use any kind of grease. You can use shortening. You can use uh, olive oil, any kind of oil that you got. This is just happened to be what I have. Uh, sh uh, any kind of oil. 
you're frying it. So whatever you fry your food with, whatever you fry your food with, that's what you use. It's always like that when I'm cooking. It's whatever you have in your kitchen. You don't have to use carrots. You don't have to use um, celery. You don't have to use onions. You don't have to use bell peppers. You can just use the beans. Bind them beans together till they make a patty and fry that. You don't have to have all these vegetables in there. If you like onions and you got an onion in your house, use that. Or use half of it. Use part of it. You know, you ain't got to use all of it. You can save the, some of it so when you make your burger, you can put an onion on your sandwich. But um, let me get a little bit more flour for my hands. And then I'm going to make this, make this burger. I'm going to have to move y'all. I may have to pause y'all and move y'all so you can see my situation at the skillet. Let me, um, see can I prop y'all up? Wait a minute. <laughs> Child. Girl trying to do some cooking in here. She hungry, y'all. And when you're hungry, what's in there that I can cook? Well, that ain't gonna work. Let's see about right here. No, oh, that griddle is on. I might have to turn that griddle off with my phone on it. It's the skillet. See? Let me turn it around. It's the grease already getting hot. It's like a, a egg skillet, but you fix your eggs in or, or you make a little pancake, a small pancake. That's that's the kind of skillet that is. Let me put you back right here so I can get this, get these burger, this burger together because I can't be holding the camera, talking to y'all and, and flattening a hamburger too. Mm-hmm. Babe, what you doing now? I'm flouring my hand. Oh, shoot. This ain't no flour. This meal. Mm. Well, honey, do what you do. I ain't got no flour. I'm going to bind this together. Say, babe, I'll do what you do. Yeah, honey. That's how, that's how recipes are discovered. When people don't have what they normally would have to make something and they use something else in, um, in the place of it, you start, you, 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 that's a recipe. And if it tastes good, hey, you got yourself a winner. Now, I'm going to put this burger in this skillet. I'll show it to you once I wash my hands. I got enough to make several, several burgers. This would be something I could eat later on also during the day. I'm eating this at breakfast time. I'm fixing this for my breakfast. You get me? And it's going to be good. You'll be surprised. It's going to be good. That's the deal right there. That's my griller. It's getting hot. I washed it. Instead of wiping it down, so I'm going to have to put some oil on it. It'll season back up really good as far as the, the iron is concerned. Because this is iron. The griller made out of iron. Get my bread. And once you oil the, oil the griller down, you don't really have to put no butter or or Where's that bread? Here it is. You don't have to put no butter or anything like that on your bread. And I do have some more bread. I might want to show it to you anyway. This is the way the bread looks like.
I'm going to lay it face down on the griller. I'm sorry that it's not pointing. I usually have this thing pointing right at the food. I don't know what the deal is this morning. See that? And that's that's the meat, the meat over there. That's too tall. Let me see about this. You should have that stuff together before you came on. I know it. And that's too big. Uh, let's see. Let me get one a little smaller, y'all. Bring you, bring you down a little bit so you can see what's going on. I would have stopped and paused it. I may cut some of this out. All this moving around like that. But that's the best I can do for us, y'all, seeing it. Let's see. Oh, that didn't help. I don't have one of them things to hold my phone. I had one and it broke, so we're doing it this way. Like I said, I have my fries here. I'm going to set them on this this grill with the uh, I was going to put them in the, in the pan with the hamburger. Well, when the hamburger come out, but I'm not going to wait. I'm going to fry it all up together. And plate it and when I fix this y'all I'm gonna go to my other channel which is gonna be in the description box it's called bad well now it's called tasty sensations and so you can sit down with me and I eat this meal and really see what it tastes like because that's the first time I end up putting um meal in it instead of flour but that was a mistake but I just went with it because it's still a veggie burger well whatever kind of binder you put in it because you can use an egg but egg is not veggie because egg got it's an animal and you're trying to bind your burger together but you're saying you're a vegetarian but you're using an egg because that's what we bind hamburgers together with egg well when I was all younger when people made meatloaf and stuff they were buying their meatloaf together with light bread or any old bread that they had. I just flipped my burger, y'all. I'm going to let it uh, cook a little bit. And my uh, french fries are frying. <laughs> my carrot fries are frying. And you know when you have carrot fries, you'd be surprised. They, they, you, if you've ever had a sweet potato fry, it's sweet like that. When I cook, I'll be wanting you to use what you have in your kitchen. You don't have to use this bread. You can toast some light bread if you want to. It'll hold up if your light bread is toasted. But what you, your main purpose is with them beans is trying to make them beans. You can mash them beans with a fork um, uh, or with a little, little whip if you got a whip for us whipping um, eggs or something. Let me show you this burger so far. I'm let it sit a little bit longer. Make sure that the center is cooked real good. I'm going to cut it down because I think it's cooking too fast. My toast is ready on one side. So I'm going to take it off. That's all I want to do with it. Honey, that's, that's, that's a notification. Let me know that one of my subscribers just went up, went on live. Sometimes I watch, watch them, but sometimes I don't. Uh, it just depends on how I'm, what I'm doing and how I'm doing and how busy I am or whatever. But I do support other channels. I do shout outs and whatever. You know, I talk to my subscribers as much as I can. If they write me, I will try to get back with them unless they um, 
conversation went into scam, and I don't know it went into scam because sometimes when you say the same thing on several channels, uh, YouTube will send it to the scam bucket. And, and then unless you look in the scam bucket, you don't know the person been, been, been uh, said anything to you. So... I'm going to place this burger. Let y'all see it. Let you see the fries. You'll probably have to come look at it on my other channel to get a better look at it. And this is the burger. By using the meal instead of flour, it gets it gave the burger a little crunchness to it because it's like cornbread. See that? See how? It's, see that? Now you put a little ketchup on there, and you put a little um mustard. You put mayonnaise on it if you want it. You could put a um. A salad dressing on it if you want if you like salad dressing on your hamburger like a ranch or a thousand island put mayonnaise on it put hot sauce on it mayonnaise is made out of eggs so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna get a little mustard I like mayonnaise don't get me wrong but I'm doing the veggie thing, so I'm put a little mustard on it. This mustard's not open. I'm going to have to take the top off. Because mayonnaise is made out of egg, I have made my cornbread with mayonnaise. And people have like, wow, what you doing? I say mayonnaise ain't number oil and, and uh, eggs mixed together, whipped together. You put two tablespoons of mayonnaise in your cornbread. And because of the smoothness of it, it the texture of your bread is it's really, really, really good. Really, really good. And uh, people used to ask me, how do I make my cornbread because of the way it tastes? That's because, like I said, when you don't have something, you use what you got. And that's how great recipes are made. Great recipes. And then nobody knows what's in it because... They never thought about putting that in them. Never, never thought about putting mayonnaise in cornbread. Mayonnaise ain't number eggs and oil. Know what the ingredients are. And if you don't have any eggs, that don't stop you from cooking. You do you use something else. Like I just did. I don't have any uh flour in there. In your frigidaire. Which I keep it in the refrigerator because I don't I don't use it enough to qualify as uh for I don't use it enough to for um uh, to leave it out because weebles will get in it before I get to it. I do think, uh, I haven't tasted it yet, but I do think I want a slice of onion on mine. Here's the fries, y'all. I'm going to lay them on the plate. Like I said, I'm going to go to my eating channel and eat this. I think I got enough onions already on the inside of it. Y'all saw how many I put in there. And I'm going to leave the lid off of it so when I go to my channel, I can talk to the people about that. See? And I don't claim to be a chef or the best cook in the world, but I show you how to use what you got. This is Val, but this is how you do it, using what you got in the kitchen. I think I just showed you that, right? <laughs> and I will talk to all of you beautiful people, all of you beautiful people. Let me sit you here. On my next video.
Let's see. That's too high. I have it set up by time y'all visit my other channel. And thank you for joining me. I know it was ratchet, honey. Just and just country ass ratchet. But <laughs> thank you for joining me. And I see you on the next video. Bye bye now. And this is the presentation of it all. And this is Val with This Is How You Do It. And I hope to see you on my other channel Why I, when I eat this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. And tell your girl what you think of this. Say, Val, you know you should have did it like this, that, or the other. But you know, I have seen other veggie videos before. This is just what I did today. This is what I did today. I have done it other ways, so I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your love, and I appreciate all that is good and right. And thank you. Thumbs up, subscribe. Bye-bye now.